Hey guys, this is Horn Productions, aka Nana4673, and I am back in Magical Otoge Anali. I'm just gonna continue. I don't know what part it is. Ah, uh, this. Because I'm in love with you, obviously. What? What is this? A dying love confession? I never thought my life would get so dramatic. Um, I. <laughs> It's fine, Emily. It hurts to talk right now, doesn't it? Besides, you should have time to think about it. I can hear you reply another time. I've always been good at waiting. Wait till the next time. That's how long it takes, because... I don't even think my reincarnation would come to love anyone else. But now I'll feel bad if I choose someone else. I see. Don't worry, you'll forget by then. Okay. Hmm. Still, there's something I want to remember, even if it's nothing else. I want to realize, in time, when you're alone and suffering. And I want to be by your side to support you when that happens. Even if I'm not the one you choose, it's fine. I just want to be there for you. Say how. Thank you. Even I really try really hard to become friend- if I have to try really hard to become friends with you, let's meet again. But uh, until then, I'm kind of sleepy now. I don't think I could stay awake even if we kept talking. It's really cold, but <laughs> would it be too cheesy if it says it feels warm when I'm next to you? It would. And only it would. Oh, I'm sorry then. <laughs> you mind if I rest for a little bit? It's fine, Emily. It's fine. Thank you for your kindness. I wouldn't be here without it. Not without you. Bye, Emily. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, HD. Emily. Emily isn't here anymore. I'm sorry, Emily. I couldn't do anything for you. Next time. Next time for sure. This is it, then. Good night, my love. Let's meet again one day. Solely yours, now and forever. Fuck you. I dare you to end the game here. I dare you. Soon after, in the same world, but in another dimension. To think this would happen. So you say you. But now you must already understand that no one is allowed to keep their memories after reincarnation. Many people cannot bear the burden of a lifetime, one lifetime, let alone two. However, you are quite a rare case. You're determined to not to live, but to exist purely for someone else's sake. Despite this wish, wish your spirit remains uncorrupted. Same applies to Miss Emily, but you want to forget her, don't you? There is kindness in that thought. But you want her to forget, don't you? There is kindness in that thought, but this is difficult. People are... Are just them? A voice rang out. Voltaire. Order. So you find these two souls particularly fitting? I do. They have proven themselves. So that is their history. Dying for another's sake. What do you gain from such a thing? Again, she much prove impossible for us to understand. To think there's a spirit like this uh, would freely follow s that a spirit like this would freely follow suit. However, the clarity of their souls have shown nonetheless. And for the sake of the future of your world, we ask that you take upon this particularly difficult role in the next life. I'll tear if you would. Understood. The voice fades away. Now, if you two come with me, or not, you will both be able to meet each other again, very soon. However, please keep in mind that while reincarnation uses the same soul, not completely you, not completely them, the previous thoughts and fragments of memory still linger. But at the same time, please take care on your journey. I'm afraid that I won't be able to interfere with the world, but I will always be wishing for your happiness. I'm quite the inept guardian angel after all. And I'm sorry. 
I won't ask you to forgive me. Please take care. I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Annalie. It would be nice if we could meet again one day. But until then, goodbye for now. I know you'll be fine. Whether or not this guardian angel exists or not. And so, Annalie's story came to an end. But even between different lifetimes, some things don't change. In a town, in the middle of a certain adventure. Huh? Hey, that's pretty cool! Shizu, look at this flyer! What is it, Melanie? One of the prizes of this lottery is a free magical trip to the beach! You love long walks on the beach, don't you? I don't, why did you hear that? Oh, you don't? Weird, because I've could have sworn you said that to me before. Well, maybe you were joking, never mind then. But I am going for the beach. I've always wanted to meet a strong, handsome, smart lifeguard with a great personality. You ask too much of the world, Melanie. Is that a no? It's a no. Look, <laughs> my hopes and dreams. I'm on this journey in order to save the world, not to pursue attractive lifeguards. You ought to have better dreams than that. Hey, I'll have my dreams, so you'll have yours. Fine. But we're still on going to the beach, not now. Aw, uh, but you said... If we have a lot of leeway time, right? You said so before. Yes, but not for this. Oh, that's no fun. You don't want to go to the beach? Just wonder what Raphael and Mark would think about it. Okay, might know what Raphael would say. I hope we bury you in the sand and forget you. But still. <sighs> Maybe I can uh, get some full support for the trip. Let's hurry back home, Shizu. Home. It's just the end. Yeah, but still. Anywhere with you guys feels like a nice and happy home. Maybe not especially happy with Raphael's mood, but still, you know what I mean? Well, I suppose I can understand. Let's go home then. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> There's no need to rush. Don't trip and fall, Melanie. I'll catch you only so many times before I think that you'll learn, need to learn. And in another world, far away, but always close by. Look, Sayo! Your reincarnation is just like you! Oh wait, maybe he's a little nicer though. A little more low-key with the sarcasm too. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer if I was more like that then? Well, no, of course not! I know you're actually really nice anyway. <laughs> Only to you, Emily. <laughs> well, at least try to get along with everyone else in the afterlife. Right, I'm fine. Ha, <laughs> so that's a no then. Well. At least you were weirdly cautious and nice to my parents when you were introduced. Of course, worked to gain their favor to an extent. All for approval. Huh? <laughs> approval? <laughs> more importantly, you know I think my reincarnation is a bit more bubbly than I am. She might be forcing it a little though, I hope she'll be alright. In that sense, she's similar to you then. What? That's not true. Okay, maybe a little? Of course, do you think I couldn't tell? Hmm. Speaking of which... The re that reincarnation of mine. If not mistaken, he already... No, what is it? Hmm. No, it's nothing. Doesn't matter, it's not a problem anymore. Oh, that's kind of mean. The world is on the brink of ending in the normal world, you know? We are still down there? I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, if, this, if the savings of the world business doesn't work out with our reincarnations, then we'll be seeing him and, very, and others very soon, won't we? That'd be bad, at least pretend to be worried. Jeez, I can hardly relax here thinking about that. <laughs> it's alright, Emily. You don't have to worry all by yourself. I'll always be with you now, if you want me to. <laughs> of course I do! <laughs> by the way, Emily, when we were in Solvius, I'd caught you in the alley. Did you mean it when you said because I love? Altair appeared, fuck you. <laughs> Altair, Emily. Impeccable timing. Maybe too considential. Oh wait, Seho, were you saying something? Never mind. Oh, okay. Anyway, Voltaire, it's great to see you. Heh, <laughs> feels like it's been forever. Seho, this is Voltaire, back in Solvalis. He mysteriously helped me out a lot. Hm, <laughs> I sense something familiar. The person who selected and forced the souls. Forged sourced the souls, named the Ars to save the world. Yes, well, we'll be fine, since it isn't your problem anymore. Touche. At least it seems like you're still adept at East... East... Is it dropping? Eee! Sayo, you're going to chase all my friends away! Sorry about that, Voltaire. Sayo isn't good with people. So I've noticed. It's been well, Emily. 
Yeah, of course. I'm dead, but things have been pretty okay besides that. This is no Sobolus, but it's pretty chill here, too. Uh, is that so? There it is. The pun that she's so proud of writing that she's been telling everyone she's met so far. The pun that made her father say in her afterlife, I wish I was dead. I wish I wouldn't... I wish... I thought I would never see you again, Voltaire. As did I. I'm only here with a special permission. This is a separate world, after all. Fortunately, one of the top-tier magicians who watches over the world is very casual and kind. Oh, really? That's kind of worrying, but also nice to hear. I'm glad they got to see you again, Voltaire. Oh my, I think I left the stove on. I'll be going then. Oh, but you won't go any near anything warm like a stove. That's precisely why I didn't go to turn it off. Well, have a nice time catching up with each other. Oh, so he was being considerate for us. <laughs> and here I was expecting him to be... By the way, I professed my undying love for Emily before I died, you know. You can't beat that. <laughs> Say how you're embarrassing me! Good. See you later, Emily. And with that, Say who left you and Voltaire alone. Was that jealousy? Hmm. The companion is a very interesting one. Well, that's one way to say it. So, have you been okay last after last time, Voltaire? I would have died soon either way, really. Don't blame yourself for not stopping me from making this deal. Thank you. You're too kind. But if, I, if I'd stopped you, you would have had more time in the world, even if it's just a little. Death isn't something that people should rush to. I should have stopped you. And that didn't. I still can't remove the feeling that I used both of you. Even if you've forgiven me, I'm not sure your reincarnations will. And even though it's for the sake of the world, I don't think I will forgive myself. Excuse me. Well, tear. That's all I, that I will complain, though. <laughs> I know it's your, f uh, it's your fault that I'm being more open about myself, I hope you know. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> I know this entire situation has hurt him a lot, but... So? Still going to get involved with the people of the world? Yes, well, my, determina my determination hasn't wavered. I will gladly take on this role for the rest of eternity. However, I'm afraid I'm not quite as allowed to have an active role anymore. I've been somewhat demoted by the natural order of the world. Demoted? For what? Something like an insorbination. It's not a significant matter. Don't allow it to worry you. And if you say so, it's fine. Things could have ended much worse for me. I thought I would have never been standing before you ever again. Truly, it was my own fault, but I don't regret it at all. I was supposed to interfere with the world at the very beginning, even more so the magician of your world. The natural order wasn't justified either. My interference can upset the balance of things. There isn't much point in hiding it now, especially since I've already been demoted. I am an artificial person created by the natural order of the world. There are... God, I'm ending the episode here and there will be a super short part in the next one, but I don't want to rush it. So, um, yeah, bye.